guys, it's Michelle. I'm very excited to release my first cooking tutorial for YouTube. I'll be showing you how to make praline cream puffs, which basically involve a few elements. There is the crackleine, shoe pastry, praline, mousseline cream, and chantilly cream. Most of the elements are French, so I'm really sorry about my pronunciation. So the full list of ingredients and written recipe will be found on my blog, beyondoursky.com. There will be a link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope you enjoy it. We'll start off by making the crackleine, and I know I'm not pronouncing it right, but it's basically a cookie placed on top of the shoe pastry before it is baked and it will form a crunchy cream puff. So in a bowl, cream together the softened butter and brown sugar until it becomes smooth and pale in colour like this. Add in the flour and fold until a soft dough forms. You don't want to overwork it and develop the gluten, so mix it until it's just combined. Place the dough between two sheets of baking paper, then gently press down and start rolling. You want it to be about 2mm thick. You can see how thin it is here and it should be quite soft as well. Make sure it's even and smooth before placing it into the freezer for an hour or until ready to use. Now onto the shoe pastry. Firstly, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. In a large saucepan, combine the water, milk, butter, sugar and salt. Bring it to the boil, then remove from the heat and add the flour. Quickly stir it in until there are no more streaks of flour and it resembles a dough. Then place the saucepan back over medium high heat and cook the mixture for about 1-2 to two minutes until the dough is pulling away from the sides of the pan like this. Transfer the mixture into a stand mixer bowl fitted with a paddle attachment. Mix on medium low speed for about 3 minutes to cool down the dough. Then gradually add the eggs one at a time, mixing well in between each addition. At first it will look like the mixture has split, but just be patient and continue beating to allow it to properly emulsify. This is what the dough will look like after three eggs are added, and you may not require all the eggs, depending on the consistency of your shoe paste. So as you can see, the dough is slightly loose, but still able to hold its shape. It should be very shiny and thick and slowly falling off the spatula. Once it is ready, transfer the dough into a piping bag fitted with a plain round nozzle. Lift up the piping bag and twist it at one end, then squeeze the mixture down to the tip. Then pipe out the shoe paste onto a lined tray. I drew 6 cm diameter circles onto the baking paper to ensure the cream puffs are all the same size and unfortunately it only made 11. If you piped them smaller you could probably get 12 to 14. Remove the reserved crackling from the freezer and using a cookie cutter that is the same size as the cream puffs, cut out circles. Then place them onto the piped shoe pastry and gently press down. Finally, bake them in your preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Once they are done, they should be golden brown and risen. Then turn the oven off and cool for 20 minutes with the door ajar. The next part is a praline mousseline cream and it begins by making a pastry cream. So in a large bowl combine the egg yolks and sugar and whisk until it becomes pale in colour, like this. Then add the cornstarch and flour and whisk until smooth, then set it aside. In a saucepan add the milk, vanilla bean pot and its seeds. You can replace this with vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste. Bring this mixture to a simmer and you know it's ready when small bubbles form around the edge of the pan. Then just remove it from the heat. 
Temper the egg yolks by gradually pouring the hot milk mixture into the egg and sugar mixture. You want to add this a little at a time to ensure the eggs don't scramble. Once all the milk is added, return it to the pot and mix continuously over high heat. It will begin to thicken and boil, but continue whisking for a further two minutes to fully activate the cornstarch and cook out the flour. Take it off the heat and add the butter, then stir until fully melted. Transfer this mixture into a bowl, cover with cling film and ensure it touches the surface of the pastry cream so a skin doesn't form. Refrigerate until completely cool. Once it is cool, transfer it into your stand mixer bowl fitted with a whisk attachment. You want to mix it in order to break up the creme patissier since the flour causes it to set. Then add the praline paste, the recipe for this will be on my website, and whisk it until it is well incorporated. Make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl to ensure all the praline paste is mixed in. Then gradually add the softened butter a little at a time, mixing well in between each addition. Once it is done, it should be lighter in colour and very smooth and silky like this. Transfer it into a piping bag fitted with a plain nozzle and set aside until ready to assemble. The final element is the Chantilly cream. So whip the cream until foamy, then add the icing sugar and vanilla bean seeds and beat to stiff peaks. Once it is done, transfer it into a piping bag fitted with an open star tip. I'm using a Wilton 1M. Now that all the elements are made, we are ready to assemble. So cut the tops off the cream puffs. Then pipe in the praline muslin cream, making sure it is completely filled. I like to smooth off the tops with an offset spatula. Then pipe the Chantilly cream starting from the outside. Add as much or as little as you want. Then place the tops that we cut back onto the cream puffs and I like to finish them off with a dusting of icing sugar and the leftover caramelized nuts from the praline paste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something about French pastry or shoe pastry or anything, even though I don't know that much. Don't forget to check out the recipe on my blog, beyondasky.com. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button as well as um, subscribe. So that's basically it, and I'll see you in my next video.